Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate Mary as the Queen of Heaven and Earth. In our reflection, we can focus on the why the Church has declared Mary as the Queen of the Universe or Heaven and Earth. We can go to the first miracle of Jesus done at the wedding banquet in Cana, where Mary, the mother of Jesus, told the servants these words, this command, do what he tells you. When someone does that, says that, that person reveals a power. And the power of Mary was not of the, the, the worldly power where, where that person would really make people feel that they are the most powerful on earth. They can command things. They know how to mani manipulate people. They know how to make people feel bad because they are just subjects. The power of Mary was because she was so close to Christ, to Jesus, her son. And Mary told her son Jesus to, to accommodate the necessities of the couple who were celebrating their wedding. The queenship of Mary is located in this, the intimacy between her and Jesus. And in the readings for today, especially in the first reading, we hear that God was leading the prophet where the glory is. And in the psalm, we repeat the phrase, the glory of the Lord. We are the glory of God. We are created in his image and likeness. And Mary is telling us to, to do what he tells us. And if we do that, God's glory will really shine on us. And doing what Jesus is telling us means to be humble. One philosopher said, the greatness of the artist is located in his work. An artist, when one, a great artist, is always lost in the work that he produces. When we want to do something great, we have to humble himself, ourselves and we lose our, our ego into the work that we do for the priest, the pastoral ministry, uplifting the people, building the community, making the people feel they are so close to God, making the people feel the compassion of God through their compassionate participation and their suffering. Instead of asking the people that I am the parish priest or if you are the, the chief of a particular office, I am the manager. It is service. These days, we, we talk about servant leadership. That is where the glory of God is located. When we do service, when we are humble, that is where we implement the words of Mary, do what he tells you. God, Jesus is telling us here in the gospel, do not be like the Pharisees. Be humble. And if we listen to Mary to do what he tells us, then we will show the glory of God.